those of you who have been watching for a long time, I did a video three years ago. We grooved all the floors in this barn because they were getting slippery. We were expecting the floors to stay groovy for a long time from that. It just didn't hold up that well. We got these concrete slats and I, you see there's some texture there, but it's all smoothed out. We have a different company this time. They do a little different type of cut and it should last longer. It's actually a little lower cost too. So we kind of wish we went with this company originally. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit more for him and then get him started. So he's got that groover running up there. We're gonna have to help him move cows as he goes across the groups. Yesterday we were planting corn. They were calling for some rain today. That's kind of changed now. So we could keep planting corn, although we have some manure to haul. We wanna get the heifer barn cleaned out and uh, we could pick back up with planting probably tomorrow then. There's still a little chance for rain today, so it might be a problem if we tried to plant. Planted 55 acres yesterday, which is enough for this larger center bunker. Had a little bit of spoiled corn silage still piled in this bunker we're going to get out first. Water in my yard this morning. Grass has sprouted. We'll soon be done with the first group. The whole back alley is done. I have to flip the cows from side to side so we can do each alley. Four inch deep grooves and the walls are straight so as the concrete wears down the, the grooves stay there more it should last longer than the last grooving job we had done because that was more just gripping up the surface and then over time that just smooths out but this is actually a deeper groove Definitely happy with how it's turning out. Seems to do a clean job. He's got really sharp blades that don't chip the concrete. It just cuts a nice slice there. So, let me get this robot going again now. Potentially you could see the robot perform a little bit better if it has better traction. I don't know. My dad's starting to work at this barn now. We're not gonna clean the whole barn out. The older pens have the ceiling fans. We don't really have to add bedding during the summer. Definitely wanna clean up these younger pens. Just be a few loads. He went through and grooved all this area. This uh, crossover to the parlor and the return lane there. All the cows walk through that lane right there, single file, three times a day. So he's gonna move on to this group after lunch. Well, my dad's getting it done. It's all cleaned out. We're gonna get some corn fodder spread in here. It doesn't really look like we're gonna get much rain today, so I might be able to start planting corn here soon. That's all the manure we have to haul this spring. It's good to have that all done. working at the second group now. We're just kind of working them around back and forth. Got a rope here keeping them from getting across the end because he wants to do this cross over here. These cows need to be safe walking around in these pens. If they're at risk of slipping all the time, that's not gonna work. He's done for the day, did this whole side of the barn. 
We had him do the cross over here in the center of the barn as well. So it's the next morning here. I got the corn planter loaded up. I'm starting here at this farm that we rent to get out and unlock my wings. I like to leave the marker arms locked up on the road because just in case I bump the lever or something, I don't want them dropping down and catching a telephone pole or a car. I just cannot afford that to be a possibility. Just this little pin drops down and the thing can't fold out. plants are empty we just refilled it again it's a little bit of a process with the different fertilizers and fungicide we're putting in there okay well I'm back at the home farm now we have everything planted except all these tray cow acres at the home farm this will be a little different now going into this tray cow stubble can sometimes be tough to plant into. So as you can see, we got some alfalfa laying here. My dad's mowing that right now. I'm trying to chop it probably tomorrow. So hopefully I can get these fields planted properly. Just gotta open up these valves. Make sure we're putting fertilizer on. So I don't know if anybody can help me out. This planter, when it's just sitting, one side sinks down. Is that an issue in the tractor? Or is that something with these cylinders or I don't know what that would be. I might have to adjust the closing wheels, the tension on those, and then also the depth possibly. It sunk down there and then I just lift it back up and it comes back to normal real quick. Generally we no-till, but in the past we've used a little bit of moderate tillage on these triticale stubble fields because it can be a little hard to get the seed bed very good to plant into really hoping this year if we can get the planter working right we can avoid tilling i'm just never sure if it quite helps us or if we could possibly be causing more compaction going through with some of those machines like a vertical tillage tool we want to see the seed trench closing up sometimes that's a problem looks like it's working pretty well here yep, there's one right there yeah right about two inches we want the trench to close up well have good seed to soil contact you don't want to have air pockets around it yeah, it looks like we're pretty good here. There's not a hard sidewall or anything from it being too wet or ground being too hard. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with how that looks. It's good here. We're finding earthworms. Just digging this little bit. There's an earthworm. Some other bugs in here. Good to see life in the soil. They help to aerate and keep the soil healthy. With corn seed, it's dropping a seed about every six inches, six, seven inches with the population we're planting. So we like to see a picket fence, we call it a nice even stand even amount of space between each stalk from what i can see here so far it looks like it's going to plant really well i'm loading up the planter again so we're actually growing some non-bmr corn to feed to our cows this year uh, planting enough for one bunker silo full uh, we've always grown BMR, which is uh, brown midrib. It's a high digestibility corn silage. We know it makes milk. Cows do well on it. We just, uh, we have a different variety here. We thought we'd give it a try this year. Uh, it should grow bigger ears and still be pretty good silage as far as digestibility. We'll just see how the cows do on it. It'll be kind of interesting. We would expect to see higher yield on the non-BMR uh, as well as more grain content. It's starting to get dark now. I've been planting all day here. Really not a lot to show you guys when things are going well. Haven't had any real issues today, so that's been really nice. Working at one of these thin strips here, right behind our farm. Not gonna run too late, we'll get started again in the morning, first thing. I'm calling it quits for tonight, it's just before nine o'clock. 
Oh, uh, we got about 50 acres, 55 acres planted today. So it is the next morning here. I'm getting started again. I'm ready for some more in for a fertilizer in the center tank. Gonna be doing some plots this morning so we can get some side-by-side -side comparisons of a couple products. I got some nice straight short passes in this field. So this is where I'm doing my test plots. So I did two different types of in fertilizer. Now I have the in off, so we'll get a control. Like we're gonna be able to chop this corn straight into the bunk again this year got some notes here just so I can keep track of the different test plots it'd be really nice if we have some time when we go to harvest to actually get the yield tests get some tonnage weights for each of those sections but at least we'll be able to walk through the field and compare them I just bumped the rate of the nitrogen up now I'm gonna try the last bit with an extra five gallons per acre since we have enough see if we can tell the difference with that So I got a good way down this field here, but I'm gonna stop for a little bit. We mowed this alfalfa yesterday, and they're gonna come chop it in about an hour and a half or so. We need to get the silo ready to fill, and we'll get the rake hooked up. My dad's gonna go ahead and rake it then. So we're gonna put the haylage on top of the rye, which is in that second stave silo there. I'd like to use this tractor on the rake. Engine's been running rough lately. Fuel filter wasn't that old. We just thought we should change it, make sure that's not the issue. I'm gonna climb this silo now to get this unloader set up. This is the chute that the feed falls down. So I'll climb up there, close the doors. It's only been a few weeks since we had this silo completely full. It kept sinking after that first day. Plus, this feed on the top is packed less, so it, we have to drop it quicker. We're gonna need to run this thing a little bit to get it to the right spot to fill. Now it's at the right spot, you can see the chute. And we got this whole space to throw the feed. Now I'm gonna drop that gooseneck down onto the unloader and then we'll be able to crank it up to the roof. Okay, we're all set. I got all the doors closed. My dad's lifting that unloader up. I'm gonna climb up the outside there and close that door. Gotta go all the way down and then back up the other ladder. Climb the outside now. My dad got the unloader all the way to the top, almost. This door I left propped open and it busts off the hinge here now. The silo is ready to go. The custom harvest crew should be here pretty soon to start chopping. I'd say we're getting dry enough. It doesn't have to be drier than 65% moisture because it's going on the top of the silo there.
That only took them a couple hours. So I'm gonna climb the silo. So we have to level out the feed now for the unloader to run. Technically you could bring it down and just top these off, but it'd be a very long process to work your way down through because you'd have to wait a while in between. The only sensible thing is to level it off. The feed was blowing in right here. This thing's made to distribute it, blow it in different directions. So you can see it kind of goes to four different areas. Got the unloader set up again. Oh yeah, I'll run it a bit. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. You think that's okay now? Yeah, it should work. So I'll put it in the cow mix tonight with that new ration. It seems like it's pretty good moisture, huh? Yeah, I think it turned out about perfect. All right, are you gonna go plant or what? Yeah, I'll try to finish the planting up. Feels good to have this done. It's kind of hard when you have different things going on at once, trying to plant, make haylage at the same time. Good to see the alfalfa fields cleaned up. The hose must be disconnected or something because it's all leaking out. You can see fertilizer getting all over the wheel there. I was able to pull this hose down a little bit farther, reattach it, should be good now. Moved on to the last field here. We got a six row corn planter, 30 inch spacing, and the marker arm sticks out the side there, marking the center of my next pass. Steer straight with that line, and then around curves I have to compensate for the, the planter trailing over to the one side a little bit. A lot of farms run uh, GPS, auto steer and everything, but we're a little bit of a smaller farm, just keep it simple. Maybe get auto steer someday. There it is, last pass of corn. Now all these corn acres need to be sprayed before the corn starts to grow. Tomorrow looks like a good day to spray, so I'm gonna be working at that then. Run the herbicide to kill a triticale and then residual to prevent weeds from growing. Just got my simple GPS to paint out what I did in the field. And I'm also following the rows. So I don't need to completely use the GPS, but that is nice to have. Good chance of rain tomorrow, so I'm hoping we get a little bit. And then we'll be good to go grow some corn. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been a really busy spring for me, getting the house done and moved in. My sister got married last week and getting all the field work done. I'm trying to make videos too, but uh, I kind of got pushed down the list of priorities a little bit. So appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me. All right, see ya.